Alright. Hello. I'm just gonna get straight into this. So basically, in this episode, we need to create a shell server, as you can see here, um, to basically run the quest plugin in so we can test whether our mechanics are working properly. So basically, first thing we need to do is in the description I will give you uh, the spigot file that you need to run. So this makes it so we don't have to run build tools which is a big long process. So basically get that, create a file called whatever you want, doesn't really matter and you can ignore this, this is just so I could change the port because I already have uh, a server running on the port. So basically uh, we need to create a text document call it run dot bat alright so after that we just right click edit and in the description I will uh, paste the code this uh, but there are a few adjustments we need to make so if we go to our program files what will I be able to do? no, ok we need to open a file explorer uh, go to our PC and then find program files ok so basically what we're going to do is we're going to find our java root because you might not have the same version as me basically uh, so yeah let's go program files and then you'll see java because java is a requirement to run minecraft so yeah we just open that and our path is here so program files java our version and then we go bin and then java.exe so this will be different you basically need to replace uh, what you find in this folder preferably the latest version it will just help the server run better uh, and replace this what we see here this value with this one so say that this was not what we wanted we need to instead rename copy and pay uh, no copy sorry and replace the one that I had previously in there. Alright, uh, if you have any issues with this, just comment, I'll fix it right away. I hope you out. Okay, so after that, you've got your speaking in there and you've got your run in there. Again, this doesn't matter, we don't need this, it will generate when you run it. I was just changing the port so it wouldn't screw up. Okay, we run it. It will ask to for us to set the ULR to true. So it won't continue to run until we do that. So just find EULA, open it, set it to true. Save, done. Run. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we will generate your spawn area to world. All this will generate. Okay, so if we open our Minecraft, let's drag it over the top here, play. Alright, 
There we go. So just open your multiplayer. And then you need to add server. So call this my server. And then here, local host. One word, no capitalization. There we go. You see? So for me to access this one in particular, this won't matter for you, but since I changed my port, or if it's not working for you even, you need to go into here and find so this is server properties, you can find it in the root and then you've got server port minus 25564 so I need to copy that and then do colon since this is a port copy that ah, paste it, sorry so refresh and there we go a micro server difference between Evertide and A Okay. Alright, so opening that, you know, barren server, no plugins, nothing. Alright, so we give ourselves op, of course, easy command, op, you username. That gives us op, and we're able to do game mode 1, and we can fly. Um, after this, you know, create the server, all good, we can stop it. So that's just stop, no slash, nothing. You don't need to do any slashes when you type into the console. So it will automatically start again. So when you do stop, you just need to exit out of it. Because I've set it up so it instantly restarts when you do stop. So if the, if the server crashes, it will just start up again. Uh, next thing that we need to do is install our plugin. So we go Baton quest spigot. Alright, click on that. Download now, super easy. Any way you want, doesn't really matter. We can just drag it in. So, show in folder. We can get rid of this now. Open up our shell server. Drag it into plugins, super easy. Nothing complicated. Alright, now we need to run that. Yep, and then we'll see that if we... Well, we'll just wait for it to finish, actually. So, if you just want to quickly get to that, you can also look into the description. I'll, I'll put down the uh, the link for Baton Quest. Okay, so now if we do... If we type plugins... We can see we have Baton Quest and it's green because it's working. <laughs> right. So back to Google. We need one more thing. Citizens sorry. Citizens two. Uh let's speak it on the end too. There, there you go. Citizens. Citizens two. Uh bye. Okay. Well good, I'll just Oh, wait, no, okay. Sorry, my bad. Um, download, same version here, for free. There we go. Unless you want to buy it, of course, you can support the developer, that's up to you. But, in this case, we're just gonna see here. Citizens 2. We're gonna get that. Alright. Snapshot. Yep, just click on this file name, download it, same as before, show in folder, we can close this, open our shell server, plugins, drag it in, and we don't have to restart, we can just, when we, <laughs> when this is done, we can just go reload, and then, plugins, there we go, both working, stop, close it down. So that's the shell server done. And yep, that's it for episode one.